chose San Francisco for our first West Coast lineup because this is really where our readers are, where our customers are. And from what everything we heard, it's a huge watch town and there's a really vibrant watch culture. So we knew we wanted to come here and support that and just invite everybody to come out and see some great watches. The response to Wind Up San Francisco has been tremendous. We've been busy nonstop all weekend. It's Sunday today and it's pretty much been a packed house uh, the entire weekend. Based on the really positive response to Wind Up San Francisco, we're definitely going to do it again here. We can't wait to come back next year and make the event bigger and better. You know, at Basel, we have a sense of what's going to be hot and what we think are going to be the most popular pieces or the watches people are going to be most interested in. But it's just been great seeing people walk up to Oris, looking at all the novelties, looking at existing watches, and finding out what person after person gravitates towards. I think that's interesting. It's not always what we think. For me, uh, being a member of the National uh, Watch and Clock Collectors Association, seeing all the young folks here being just crazily passionate about watches was just incredible. One of our members is an actual uh, watchmaker. He brought some of his movements, and I, I think it was really uh, interesting to watch people uh, take in and absorb the fact that he actually made the movement um, from scratch uh, and all the machining, and, and to watch people really engage with him and talk about uh, what it took to put those uh, watches together was, was pretty, pretty awesome to watch.